Welcome back. In this video, we will learn to use the Disordered System Builder panel to prepare a box containing a polyethylene glycol, referred to as PEG, in water. The Disordered System Builder panel facilitates building a randomized multi-component mixture of a given composition, either on its own or on a substrate. Make sure you are back in your materials underscore intro project in your materials underscore intro working directory. Let's begin. Before we can use the Disordered System Builder, we first need to prepare models of our individual components, the water molecule and the pig structure. Let's import these structures into our project. From the main menu, go to File, Import Structures. Navigate to where you downloaded the intro files and select the provided disordered underscore system underscore components.mae file. Click Open. A new entry group is loaded into the workspace containing two entries. Make sure this new entry group is selected. The water molecule was built using the 2D sketcher, and the single tinware of PEG was built using the polymer builder, as shown in previous videos. Feel free to practice constructing these inputs on your own. Now we are ready to build our system. To access the Disordered System Builder panel, go to Tasks, Materials, Structure Builders, Disordered System. The Disordered System Builder panel opens. The two selected components are by default loaded into the panel. If you do not see the components, return to the entry list and be sure that you have selected both entries. Let's build a box that is about 40% by weight peg. Change the number of molecules to 1500 and change the number of water molecules to 1,464. The number of PEG molecules should automatically adjust to 36. We see in the weight percent column that our system is about 40% by weight PEG. Let's go to the Disorder tab next. We'll pick Tangle Chain as our initial state, since this setting allows for the quickest build. We'll not use the Cells tab here, but you could use this tab to generate multiple cells for sampling or to create homogeneous disordered systems of the individual components. This will be another example where we must run a job. Change the job name to disordered underscore system underscore peg underscore water. To adjust job settings, you can always click on the gear button. Make sure that you have a CPU host set to run this job, but note that your host options may not match those shown in the video. If you have no available host, visit the Cluster Setup for Schrodinger Jobs help page. The documentation homepage will be displayed after this video. Otherwise, click Run. For a complete description of the capabilities of the Disorder System Builder panel, click the question mark icon to see the associated help documentation. Now back to the workspace. Let's close the Disorder System panel. You will notice that the job has started because the job monitor will turn green. Let's wait for the job to complete. It should be relatively quick. When the job is complete, a banner will appear and a new entry group will be incorporated titled MD Disordered System PEG Water System 1, containing one entry titled Disordered System PEG Water All Components Amorphous. Include this entry. The box is visible in the workspace. The water molecules and the PEG tinmers are represented by the two different colors. Feel free to stylize the system however you prefer. Note again that this system is just a starting model. It has not yet been equilibrated by molecular dynamics. Once a system is equilibrated using molecular dynamic simulations, many properties could then be calculated for the multi-component system. For example, you might calculate the viscosity, explore the cluster and analysis tools, or study surfactant tilt and rotation angles. Explore the detailed documentation at www.schrodinger.com slash learn slash training slash materials dash science, where you can access help pages, many tutorials, and information on the online course offerings that could assist you in studying multi-component mixtures. In this video, we learned to build a multi-component mixture with a disordered system builder. In the next video, we will learn to visualize and manipulate periodic structures. See you there!